This is Lindsay Kramer from Syracuse.com and the Post Standard. Welcome back to uh, SOS Spotlight Athlete of the Week feature. This week, we're lucky to be joined by Bishop Ludden freshman soccer player Ashley Powalczyk. Ashley has 18 goals so far this year, more than half her team's total. Ashley, thank you for joining us. I know you're between practice and school. Uh, we'll get right to it. Your team is undefeated. Does, does that surprise you? Did you guys come into the season expecting to do so well uh, so quickly into the season? Um, we've been putting in a lot of the hard work, and we've always just been going game by game, acting like it was the first game of the season, not looking at any of our past games and just trying to win from there. Now, that's the team's success, your own success with 18 goals. Again, that's a little more than half the team's total. You're, you're only a freshman. It's your first year on varsity. What were your expectations personally coming into the season? Do you surprise yourself with uh, so many scores? Um. I've been practicing with my club, Rush, um, for a while now, and they've helped me with my shooting. So, like, I was expecting to be able to, like, score some goals. What do you see out there? Because as a freshman, you're new to um, you're new to varsity play, and, you know, this is a whole new experience for you, and now defense is, I'm sure, paying more attention to you. What are you seeing out there that uh, maybe stands out the most? Um, there's a lot of talking and like faster play and moving the ball more than like JV and modified. Now you make it look easy at times. I'm sure it is not easy. Uh, what has stood out to you as perhaps the biggest challenge uh, as far as being a varsity newcomer? Um, it's very difficult to like make sure that I get back and like help support in the center of the field with all the players. So I have to make sure to remind myself to get back and keep pushing through the game. Now, when somebody scores that much, oftentimes they get the label of natural goal scorer. Now, that's not necessarily true because you, you work very hard to uh, to be in a position to score those goals. But you sometimes feel that way, that, it's just some, that there's a knack, there's a feel, there's a touch of when you get the ball, you feel like you can make things happen. Um, sometimes I think that, and sometimes I think that I should get the ball off my foot to another teammate who thinks, who I think could do a better job at that moment. Is there a typical favorite move or favorite way you score your goals? Um, I know you have to probably be left foot, right foot, uh, equally talented, but, uh, how would you say you're most dangerous out there? Um, usually I get the ball and either try doing a one touch right foot. And then if I'm on my left foot, I take a touch to get myself at a better angle with my left or I take a touch to the side with my right and try getting a shot with my right foot. Now, I asked your coach if he was surprised about your uh, immediate uh, contributions. He says, no, he saw you in the summertime at the preseason camps and he knew that you could be something special. I'd like to know what your thoughts were about preseason camp. Did you feel like you were about to break through? Did you, did you feel like you were making a quick impression of him, that you were doing really well? What do you recall about those summer camps? Um, I recalled that I was working well with the team and we had a good dynamic together and we're all working really hard to get ready for preseason and that type of stuff. Did you feel like, hey, I can do this. This is not necessarily be easy to score 18 goals, but hey, I'm going to belong here right away. Yeah, I felt like that. They're all very welcoming and supportive. Mm -hmm. Now, as a freshman with 18 goals, you certainly you know, made a stamp on the season for yourself, but that of course comes with increased pressure, increased defensive tension, the playoffs are coming. So, you know, yeah, it's, it's good to get up some numbers early, but certainly, you know, teams know who you are and the game's going to get bigger. Do you, do you feel um, as, as the season progresses, more weight on your shoulders, more defensive attention, perhaps, you know, more responsibility to score? Um, I set standards for myself to try scoring each game but um, I have felt like some defense pressure on me pressing harder and trying not to let me get a shot off with my right foot since most people know I'm right-footed. What has coach told you about that? I'm sure he has advice to, to deal with that. Um, he's told me just to take a deep breath and try making the right decision in what I think is best since I can see the field from my point of view and it could be different from a different person's point of view. Sure, that's, that's a good point. I know you spoke of how uh, you believe soccer will be your only varsity sport, uh, at least for now. Uh, what about soccer? You know, I'm sure you have a, a aesthetic ability to go to a lot of different sports. What about soccer uh, grabbed your attention and perhaps, you know, put you on that path so early? 
Um, I've played since I was three, so I've enjoyed it my whole life, and I've just gone and progressed to moving to better teams, and I've just loved the sport, and it gave me something fun to do. Do you remember being three years old and playing? Do you have any memories of those days? I have pictures of it, but I don't really remember it. Uh, do we always uh, an offense? I don't know if you can be an offensive type of player at three, but do you always remember loving to run around and score? Were you in a similar position you are now? Um, I used to be more of like a goalkeeper type of person, but as I've gotten older, I've moved more into an offensive position. You played goalie? Yeah, when I was like really young. Do you ever think about going back there now? Um, I don't mind goalie. It's a fun position, but it's a lot of stress, especially mm-hmm. on like city and high level sports. Sure. Well, you know, we've talked about your fast start and the expectations. I'm curious what you would look for from yourself for the remainder or handful of games in the regular season. And then the postseason, uh, just as far as realistic numbers for yourself, I know you don't necessarily think, well, I'm going to double my goals or, or anything like that, but what, what do you look for out of yourself these last few games down the stretch? Um, try getting at least a goal each game. And if I can't try to get an assist to help another teammate score and just keep on doing those wins. Appreciate you joining us today, Ashley. And good luck the rest of the season. Uh, Thank you for being with us. And join us next week on Syracuse.com's SOS Spotlight Athlete of the Week. Have a safe week, everybody.